wolf feel? When we think of legendary sea creatures, we often think of the Megalodon as the worst of the worst, the true king of the ocean monsters. But what if I were to tell you there were once sea beasts that were 10 times worse? These are 20 sea monsters that are scarier than the Megalodon. Number 20. The Lion's Mane Jellyfish with some of these awesome creatures growing to two and a half meters across and tentacles stretching an epic 30 meters, as long as a blue whale, the lion's mane jellyfish is definitely one of the world's biggest sea monsters. The lion's mane jellyfish, named aptly because of their shaggy sort of appearance, like a lion's mane, I would suppose, live mainly in North Pacific and Arctic waters where they hunt for small fish and crustaceans. Spookily enough, these sea creatures actually are bioluminescent, which means that they make their own light and actually glow in the dark. Although you probably wouldn't be too happy to see one coming at you, and they really have a nasty sting that they use to stun their prey before they consume it. The jellyfish's mouth is positioned underneath the bell shape of its body, so it is a dangerously efficient hunter, basically shaped like a massive trap, grabbing and stinging with its long tentacles and gobbling its prey. Their sting, although pretty nasty, is not known to be deadly to humans. It is pretty painful though, so I wouldn't pet one of these guys if I were you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Did you know that rumors suggest that there was once a scarlet remix of the infamous beast, the Megalodon? Most of our knowledge of Megalodon sharks come from the gargantuan teeth that have been found, Recently, a curveball was thrown, where a tooth was found that was copper red. Does this mean that there was once a Megalodon that was entirely red? Some people believe, and even named the beast the Red Megalodon. The other theory is that they were so bloodthirsty, the tooth was once white but had been permanently stained red from the intensity with which they found and eat their prey. Now, that is why the Red Megalodon is 100 times more dangerous than the Megalodon, even if they weren't actually red. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Anomalocaris. Now, credit where credit is due, this is one weird looking creature. But before we get all judgy and make a load of assumptions based on its appearance, we should really find out if this long extinct animal was anything to actually be terrified about. First up, we have the name, Anomalocaris, which comes from the Greek simply meaning unusual shrimp. It doesn't sound too scary so far, but then when you consider that this sea creature hasn't really been around in 530 million years, then you know it isn't much to spend your days worrying about. Finally though, it turns out that, despite those things, it was actually a pretty fearsome predator in its day. Try it now, like that. The unusual shrimp was also a badass it grew up to six feet long, which is kind of big for a shrimp, and had a super sharp sense of vision, which made it a proper scary prospect in those prehistoric waters. The shape of it was also well adapted to efficient hunting, with a kind of armored body that undulated to move through the water and a pair of grabbers at the front of its head. This shrimp could use its excellent eyesight to stalk prey silently and then grab a hold of it with ruthless speed. Once caught, the prey could then anticipate a rather unpleasant crushing to death in the shrimp's horrible mouth. Yuck! Despite all of its apparent excellent hunting skills and apparent body armor, the animal, however, did not survive the so-called Great Permian extinction when 90% of life on Earth went suddenly extinct. Sucks for them, but probably a positive for us humans today. Number 18. Dunkleosteus. This terrifying monster fish was swimming around during the late Devonian period, which was about 350 million years ago. So there probably aren't any of these predators left out there. But has anyone actually checked? 
The catchily named Dunkleosteus was a biter, but rather than a regular mouthful of teeth, however, this prehistoric water dweller had two long blades made of bone that would break their prey in half and chop neatly through their flesh. This big fat fish also had the strongest bite of any fish out there, even more powerful than our modern day sharks. They had a bite force of an astonishing 8,000 pounds per square inch, which is two and a half times nastier than even our biting champion crocodiles can manage today. When that was combined with this mega fish's ability to create enormously powerful suction simply by opening its mouth and sucking the prey inside, well then it's easy to see what a deadly, efficient top-tier predator that this creature really was. There were a bunch of fossilized evidence of the diet and behavior of this massive sea monster, and scientists believe that they would eat almost anything that came in their direction, which included each other. Yes, the psychos, as it turns out, were also cannibals. Number 17. Atlantic Wolffish Ugh, this is one scary looking fish. And as well as being known as the wolffish, this sea creature also goes by the various suggestive monikers like sea wolf, devilfish, and wolf eel, amongst many others. It seems that nobody can fully decide what it's actually called, but everyone is fairly certain that it needs a distinctly dangerous name. It's those teeth that really do it. The Atlantic wolffish has so many unpleasant gnashers in its unfortunately ugly mug that it's been giving people the wiggins for all of time. The bottom-dwelling wolffish sports row upon row of crushing teeth and four to six proper massive fangs at the front. Oh, and if it happens to not tear up its teeth sufficiently in its mouth, the creature is a wolf eel. <sighs> Well, it also has serrated teeth all the way down inside of its throat. Beyond the sinister appearance of the sea creature, it also has some interesting features that make it well adapted to its chilly choice of habitat. The wolffish produces a substance that is essentially natural antifreeze within its own body, and this helps to keep their blood moving when they're extremely cold. Their favorite food seems to be the sea urchin and green crab, both of which have some fairly hefty defenses against being easily eaten. So it's no small wonder that this monster fish has developed such fierce teeth. One grin from a wolffish, and you know everything you need to about just how terrifyingly toothsome this fish can be. Just try not to have any nightmares. Number 16. Stonefish Now, this fish can put a serious downer on an afternoon's paddle in the sea, that's for sure. The next time you take a dip in the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific, you should be careful where you step. The stonefish, a master of disguise, is one of the deadliest animals on Earth. It produces a particularly nasty venom that is often fatal to humans, unless anti-venom can be administered in time. These super dangerous guys like to hide out on the ocean floor, just looking like a rock, but don't be fooled, these fish are definitely up to no good. The stonefish has 13 venomous spines along its back, and if anything even brushes against these, then venom can be released. If you accidentally step on a stonefish, it will sting you, and that nasty sting is extremely painful and is going to need immediate medical attention. The venom from a stonefish can cause swelling, pain, tissue death, and cardiac arrest, so that's a whole barrel of laughs then. And if you simply have to venture into the water where these badass fish hang out, then please be careful, wear your shoes, and watch where you step and cross your fingers, I suppose. Number 15. The Blue Whale the awesome blue whale is the biggest creature to ever live on planet Earth. It is larger even than any dinosaur, and the most excellent thing is that these incredible sea monsters are still around today. You could actually see one. It's pretty tricky to get your head around the real scale of the blue whale. They are monstrously big, measuring at 100 feet long, which is like a 10-story building laid out flat, and weighing a totally incomprehensible 441,000 pounds, that's like 220 tons, this extraordinary whale is the biggest of all sea monsters ever. And just to give you a small clue of these sorts of weights, a blue whale's tongue weighs about the same as an elephant. It is ridiculously enormous. And their heart, 
well, that's about the same size as a golf cart, and you can actually hear its heart beating from two miles away, which is mind-blowing. That gets us onto the blue whale's volume, they're also the loudest creatures on Earth, and they can make sounds so loud that they can be heard almost a thousand miles away by other blue whales. That's as loud as the sound of the volcano Krakatoa erupting, which was literally heard around the world. Number 14. The Frilled Shark the so-called living fossil is a scary, well, actually it's downright terrifying, ancient species of shark that although rare is still out there menacing people from time to time with its intensely intimidating appearance and sharkish habits. Although there are apparently a few of these sharks still out there, sightings are so incredibly rare that one has only been captured alive, in living memory anyway, on one occasion. This particular specimen would be pulled from the water near Lake's entrance in Victoria in Australia by a group of rather surprised fishermen. It was such an unusual occurrence that the story made the headlines and captured imaginations all over the world. The super strange shark dates back to at least 80 million years ago. So the thing has been kicking around in our waters for so long, it's no wonder that it's known as a fossil. The name frilled shark is on the account of the big old fish's six pairs of frilly gills, it does look a bit like it's sporting some Elizabethan ruff, but with a toothier edge than most of those old stuffy portraits would have. Number 13. Mosasaurs The species of Mosasaur was to be found swimming in the oceans of the Earth way back between 72 to 66 million years ago. It was not unlike our contemporary gharials, with its long and narrow snout and rows of teeth, these are the relatives of crocodiles and alligators, and therefore, amongst the best animals that there have ever been, naturally. Now, it turns out that these particular species of mosasaurs were alive at a time when the planet had a sort of accidentally outdone itself. There were so many creatures in the waters of the world that they were literally suffering from overcrowding. This was a time when there were so many massive creatures living in the sea that they were all in competition for food with each other, and that's why a lot of so-called mega-predators died out. There were just simply too many of them to be sustainable. There was not enough food, space, or resources for this many enormous hungry creatures, and the new mosasaur, with its long and characteristic snout, seems to have been adapted to a specific kind of predation within the ecosystem. Scientists believe that these creatures were relatively adaptable, and could choose different sorts of prey depending on what was more readily available. But they have still been dead an awfully long time to be considered a new kind of anything. Number 12. The Deep Sea Dragonfish Although the dragonfish is only about 6 inches long, it still cuts a fearsome figure in the deep dark ocean, especially if you're a teeny weeny creature that the dragonfish loves to call lunch. These eel-shaped predators have extremely gruesome grins. Their fang-lined jaws are one of the things that makes them a formidable hunter, as it allows them to eat prey almost half their own size. These nasty teeth and dead-eyed faces make the fish scary enough, but the thing that puts them into the category of nightmares is their powers of invisibility. I mean, seriously, these creatures have fangs that are almost totally transparent, which means that they blend into their surroundings and their potential prey can hardly see those nasty big jaws as they clamp down on their heads. To add a decidedly spooky element to the dragonfish's already scary appearance, it also emits an eerie bioluminescent glow. Ah, it's a proper creep, even if it is small. Number 11. The Fang Tooth. Now, you can probably guess why this fish has been given this particular name. This fishy horror movie monster has some pretty mean-looking fangs, but despite its menacing appearance, the fangtooth fish is only pretty dinky, measuring up to about 6 inches when fully grown. So that's a relief, I guess. Although you'll probably never come across one yourself, even if you did, this scary-faced fish is more likely to give you a jump scare than anything more painful. They also live really deep down in the ocean, at depths of between 1,600 to 16,000 feet or more, hanging out deeper during the day and going to shallow waters at night to feed. Living at such a depth, the fangtooth has very poor vision, but it also has a super advanced system to sense movement and vibration in the water around it. So it can pick out and chomp down on prey, despite not being able to see it. 
Those fangs are pretty lethal. The fangtooth fish itself has had to develop a pretty nifty adaptation so that it doesn't accidentally poke holes in its own brain when it closes its mouth. They have special sorts of pouches in their heads to accommodate their fangs, so that's lucky then. Or I guess these fish would have died out pretty fast. Number 10. The Deep Sea Anglerfish This is one creepy sea creature, and they have some fairly scary adaptations as well to match their creepster vibes. Anglerfish are found in seas all over the world. Living in deep waters, mostly near the sea floor, they are amongst those odd creatures that have their own source of luminescence that they use in the weird, fleshy thing that dangles out of the top of their head. This thing is their lure that they use to attract their prey, like an angler with a fishing line, you see. Anglerfish are really efficient hunters, and not only do they have a whole bunch of extremely unpleasant sharp and pointy teeth, they also have absolutely gargantuan mouths. The anglerfish's massive mouth extends the entire circumference of their head, and it can also be extended to such a colossal width that these scary sea dwellers can swallow prey that is twice their size. Number 9. The Giant Squid These epic sea monsters are very cool. They're the stuff of legend. Age-old tales of fishing boats being wrestled by these beasts. And when you see the size of some of these giant squid, you're going to understand why. The biggest ever recorded giant squid measured a colossal 59 feet long and weighed a ton that would make some monstrous calamari rings. They may actually get bigger than that, though. These huge invertebrates are notoriously difficult to study, and much of their behavior and knowledge about them is generally not known. The closest that scientists usually get is if a dead giant squid washes up on a beach somewhere, or they're accidentally caught by surprised fishermen. They live in the very deep oceans, and it's believed that they mainly eat fish, other squid, and quite possibly even small whales. These creatures are equipped with eight arms, and have two additional tentacles that they use for feeding, literally like hands popping food into their beaks. The giant squid also sports a set of gigantic peepers. Their eyeballs alone are the biggest of all the creatures on Earth, measuring a whopping 10 inches across. This means that down in the sea where it's really dark, they can likely see their prey before their prey sees them. Another awesome adaptation. Number 8. Japanese Spider Crab The largest crabs in the world, the Japanese spider crabs, have 10 legs, so they can span as much as 12 and a half feet and weigh almost 20 kilos. They're big enough to consume a human child. Masters of camouflage, these Japanese spider crabs live at a depth of 150 to 200 meters, where they use the stuff all around them to cover their shells and blend into the environment, becoming almost invisible to their predators. That may account for how they can live for up to 100 years, with some of them surviving even longer than that. However, these oversized crustaceans are more likely to be hunted by octopus or stingray than to be much of a threat themselves. They are scavengers, generally finding their food in the leftovers and decaying debris of animals and plants that are on the bottom of the ocean floor. There are plenty of legends around these creatures, though, and as much as they may not kill a human to feed, they do have no problem gorging on any dead bodies that might find their way to the ocean's depths. The Japanese spider crab is really only minding its own business, just being a big old crab and cleaning up a lot of gross and dead stuff. Number 7. Sarcosuchus now, this mammoth crocodile had a head that was six feet long, so just imagine how big that the rest of it was. Inside that monstrous head was a terrifying jaw, and in that bone-crushing jaw, there were no fewer than 132 huge teeth. That is the Sarcosuchus. Found primarily in Africa and South America, the sheer scale of this massive monster meant that it could hunt even the largest of dinosaurs, and much like our contemporary crocodiles, it was an ambush predator. able to lie in wait for its unsuspecting prey to amble too close and then snap the force of its bite powerful enough to break the creature in two. So that's a fairly sturdy reason to be pleased that this particular predator shuffled off this mortal coil way back when. Those pesky saltwater crocodiles in Africa today, well, they get up to plenty of mischief as it is. Number 6. 
Helicoprion. The scientists who have been trying to solve the puzzle of this bizarre creature known as the Helicoprion had been beavering away only to discover that some of the pieces were missing from the box and they might never be able to see the entire picture. As frustrating as that might seem, it has made for some extremely creative and interesting interpretations. Based on the fragments of fossils that have been unearthed from this creature. The name Helicoprion means spiral saw, and that is the main chunk of fossil that they were working with. Paleontologists eventually deduced that the circular saw-like thing that they had discovered was most likely positioned in the mouth of this weird sea creature. They decided that it was what they called a whirl-toothed ratfish, or a sort of shark. It's believed that this mystery creature first appeared in the oceans of Earth about 280 million years ago and hung around a while before finally going extinct sometime in the early Triassic period. Since no full-sized complete skeletal fossils have ever been found, the idea of how this creature may have looked are all from the best informed imaginations. Do you have any ideas of where else this weird spiral saw might have been found and what purpose it served? Let us know all of your ideas in the comments section down below. Number 5. Leopleurodon This enormous sea-dwelling predator was a terrifying creature indeed. The Leopleurodon stalked the seas during the mid to late Jurassic period, which was around 160 to 155 million years ago. So it's fairly safe to say that this sea monster is no longer with us. Measuring a gigantic 82 feet long, this marine reptile was a fearsome predator. It had a long nose, flippers, and rows of dangerously sharp needle-like teeth. The sheer size of the sea monster meant that very few other sea dwellers, if any, would have been safe from the animal. Even massive prehistoric sea crocodiles and other pleosaurs would have struggled to defend themselves against one of these nightmares. In fairness though, they were omnivorous, but that would not have stopped them from carrying out carnage on the regular rather than nibbling sedately on some tasty sea lettuce. Number 4. Livia Tan Next up we have the Livia Tan. This mighty colossus is basically what can only be described as a prehistoric whale. The ancient and enormous creature was absolutely vast, and to explain just how big that it was, imagine a mouthful of interlocking teeth, each measuring between one and one and a half feet long. Almost twice bigger. This tooth is about 36 centimeters long. Yes, each tooth alone was a foot long. These whales were so big that, other than the megalodon, there was really nothing even remotely comparable in size during the era in which it lived in the oceans. The Liviatan seems to have been the apex predator of the whole Miocene epoch. The trouble is, however, that there is a whole lot of information that's missing about these amazing creatures. Only one partially preserved jaw and skull, as well as a bunch of teeth, have been unearthed, so it's only with the use of technology that we have today have we been able to see what this massive sea monster might have looked like. Much of the gappy understanding has been filled in using the closest living relative, the sperm whale, and our knowledge of these awesome modern day whales has definitely added a lot to our learning about the prehistoric creatures that were here before. And in case you'd gotten this far and not quite been able to put two and two together, there's apparently a biblical sea monster which is called the Leviathan as well as a similar terrible sea monsters that appear to be in other mythologies throughout history, and the name of this Liviatan naturally comes from that word. The word in general is used in particular to denote a massive sea monster, usually a whale of some sort, so it's the obvious choice for this dino whale creature. With regards to the size of these prehistoric sea monsters, they were actually not dissimilar to the modern sperm whale. They were most likely about the same kind of length, which ranges between 44 to 57 feet, and they likely weighed about 60 plus tons. It ate a diet of baleen whales, sharks, and other marine creatures that were found near the surface of the water. They lived between 9.9 .9 and 8.9 million years ago. Number 3. Giant Ancient Sea Scorpions do you need some new nightmare fuel? Well, look no further. Here we have a gigantic sea scorpion. Yes, an eight foot long insect with one and a half foot long claws to climb into your dreamscape 
and give your slumber time a little extra something. This monstrous arthropod lived approximately 390 million years ago. The only other gigantic arthropod was a terrifyingly huge millipede-like creature. But don't worry, we'll get to that one later on. This scorpion, despite its name, was actually really unlikely to have lived in the sea at all. A sea scorpion, one of the most gross. Most of the fossils of this thing have been discovered within layers of rock from freshwater rivers and lakes. It is most definitely extinct, and no doubt you are very thrilled not to have to encounter insects that are taller than you, outside of your bad dreams, that is. Number 2. Tanastrophius. The Tanastrophius is an extinct reptile that lived during the Middle Triassic period, which was somewhere around 242 million years ago. So, you know, not all that recent, but it does belong to a group of reptiles known as Protorosaurs, which are distant relatives of modern-day lizards and snakes. This thing was a super weird-looking creature that had a majorly long neck, like it was basically all neck and not a whole lot else. In fact, its neck made up for more than half of its length in total. These crazy long-ass necks could be as bananas as 10 to 15 feet, all on top of a skinny little body and gangly legs. Not only was that neck long, it was also super flexible and had loads of tiny vertebrae which allowed a wide range of movement. Although it's always difficult to be sure, scientists do reckon that this long neck allowed the dinosaur to catch fish in shallow waters of ancient seas, and they think that these were likely semi-aquatic dinosaurs that had adapted to a carnivorous diet. But like I say, the exact purpose of its long neck does remain the subject of debate. While it's commonly thought to have been used for hunting, some researchers would suggest they may have had other functions, like specialized filter feeding, or as a means to reach aquatic vegetation. Fossils have been found in various parts of the world, which includes Europe, the Middle East, and North America. Number 1. The Barrel Eye Fish Now, this fish does look super weird. It has long, bulging eyes and transparent head. And it seems that the deeper we look into the oceans of the world, the stranger the sea creatures become. And the Barrel Eye Fish is one such oddity. Equipped for a starring role in a science fiction film, the barrel eye has a transparent dome-shaped head with extra-sensitive tube-shaped eyes which are covered by a green liquid-filled shield. Beautiful! It helps the creature to spot prey above them, even if they're swimming in pitch-black darkness of the very deep oceans. They also have a pair of nostrils, which look like sad eyes, and a pointy snout with a small mouth. They have flat, elongated fins in order to move through the water by simply floating motionlessly and their bodies contain a selection of luminous organs, giving the fish an otherworldly glow. Now, while the fish is no oil painting, it's hard to argue that it isn't well adapted to its deep-sea habitat. This may be one of the best-equipped fish for functioning down there, and while other deep-dwelling animals have lost their sight, the barrel eye fish has honed their vision to work even in the gloom. This definitely gives them an edge in the food-finding and eating category, and perhaps in evading predators as well. Well, that's all the nasty stuff that's lurking beneath the surface. Which of these scary monsters is going to haunt your nightmares the most? Go ahead and let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.